Hi, welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. Happy Cannabis Day. It's October 17th, 2018, here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The day of cannabis legalization, the end of cannabis prohibition in Canada. Really, really exciting day. I had to take a short hiatus from the cannabis and wine pairings, but I'm so excited to be back completely in a legal market. This is absolutely a historic day. I went and bought legal cannabis today, and then I went to my good friend Alberta Solventless House, and with the help uh, of Squish with Steve on Instagram, uh, I was able to press my legal rosin, or my legal cannabis into rosin. So super exciting. I don't know if anybody else went to a store and pressed legal rosin today, but we did on my live stream. Go check it out. It'll be up for another 24 hours. Uh, go to my Instagram up here, whichever side it is. Um, but yeah, so instead of starting with wine like we did for the last 50 episodes, I'm gonna start with cannabis because it's legal and, and, and I'm very excited about it and it's an amazing day. Um, so the cannabis I got, this is, um, it was Soleil. This is, the producer is called Soleil. And um, here, I'll put it in front of my face. And this is the Renew. And it looks like it's 21.3% THC. And you can see the duty sticker on there. And it's just this plain box. And that right there is absolutely everything on the box. Oh, they tell you that there's an eighth in there. And I believe, and I paid $41 for this uh, eighth of cannabis. So this was actually the cheapest thing I bought today. Um, and it yielded really well. So I was gonna start with my th first three videos, um, you know, with the cheapest stuff, the medium stuff, and the most expensive. So producer Soleil, this is called Renew. It was actually Alien Dog. Um, so, you know, I don't know if they're allowed to actually use the strain names or anything like that. Like if you can use um, branded and licensed uh, strain names, but it is Alien Dog, so that's cool. Um, again, we'll open the package. This is what the packaging looks like. I unfortunately didn't take any pictures of the cannabis, but again, I mentioned it'll be on my live stream, so you'll be able to see it there. Pa this one definitely had the nicest packaging, this polyurethane box or um, container, and then, you know, they put an eighth in. The cannabis was irradiated. It was very, very dry. It uh, wasn't great cannabis, to be honest. I wouldn't have wanted to smoke it, but we pressed it. This is the Soleil Renew, again. Uh, but I went and pressed it into rosin so that we could keep with the format of the show. Everybody that's familiar with the show knows that we deal with essential oils. Um, so let's see how this smells. It's very stable. It's like uh, one sh very stable rosin coin. It's like, uh, it's like shatter. It's extremely brittle, like glass. And it looks very, very nice, very clear. Um, Alberta Solomonless and Squish with Steve did a great job for me. Thank you guys. And we'll just get it a little bit warm here. Get those terpenes going. So, not very strong on the bouquet. Um, and it's definitely just because of the quality of the cannabis and how dry the cannabis was. I believe it says on here that somewhere, this is from Afria. Afria is the producer, Afria Inc. Um, Somewhere on here, it, it was packaged August 16th. So this did sit in this jar for quite a while. Um, the, sh the rosin looks really nice, uh, but the smell is definitely not there. Quite dark too. It's a little bit musky. There's a little bit of sandalwood. There's a little bit of eucalyptus, but not much. Uh, so I got a quarter ounce of this and we pressed it and the first press resulted in 0.83 of a gram, and the second was 0.3, so it gave us a total of 15%, which is not bad. I think this is the highest yielder, and this claims to be 21.36% THC. Um, so there you go. So I'm gonna pour the wine, I'm gonna talk about the wine, and then we'll go back and pair it on the palate. I think that'll be the best play. I thought it was fitting. The very first episode I did was with the Moraine Estates Pinot Gris Vintage 2016. This is a wine that I got to help make. I was the seller hand at Moraine Estates, the 2016 vintage. Um, it was really exciting to uh, work with this wine. I, you know, I was the one that packed it into the press. I was the one that watched the press, put it, put it into the tanks, and then the winemaker got to take care of it and make sure it didn't turn into vinegar. But I really got to do a lot of this process, which is really cool. Um, this is in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, absolutely beautiful place right on the hills of Lake Okanagan. Um, there's huge moraine slices. Uh, so 
absolutely beautiful. Pinot Gris, a nice simple wine, you know, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, uh, same, same. Pinot Gris tends to be more of an Alsatian style, a French style, maybe a little bit rounder and sweeter and more than lemon lime. Uh, but anyways, very clear color. Um, it's almost 2019 now, which is cool. I remember coming home from the vineyard uh, for my fiance's birthday two years ago. It was right around this time. Very exciting. Beautiful clear wine. On the nose, it's got like a bit of funk now, actually. Kind of smells like fermented peaches. Maybe a little bit of uh, lemon, lime. There's some floral components there, like some white flower. A little bit of honey notes, honey blossom, maybe orange blossom too. It's 2016 though. Maybe I should have drank this wine a little bit sooner. You know, lesson learned, even if you make it, it's not gonna hang forever. You need acid and you need sugar. Those are the things that make it last. On the palate. Oh, the fruit's definitely still there. On the palate, it's quite delicious. Nice, crisp, lemon, lime, apple, pear. None of that kind of uh, fermented note that I smelled. And it's blowing off, you know, I just opened this wine, it sat for a while, we need to give it a second to air. Yeah, even as I do that, it gets better, it gets a little bit peachier. The acid's nice and high. A little bit of alcohol, very nice. Well, let's smell it side by side with the cannabis, and let's pair them on the palate, and let's get out of here. So, From the cannabis to the to the wine, it definitely highlights uh, the peachiness. It kind of makes it singular. Unfortunately, the cannabis isn't uh, a crazy terpy like we've always featured on the channel, where we made sure that everything was, um, you know, I vetted my producers really well, or at least tried to. And uh, yeah, there's not much going on in this except for a little bit of musk and sandalwood. But from the wine to the extract, it actually gives the extract like this illusion of kind of grapiness uh, in the rosin, which is nice. Well, let's stop talking. Let's try it on the palate and see how it is. I'm already thinking about a food pairing, I think. As always, I have my D-nail set to um, 520 degrees. Cheers, happy cannabis day, happy legalization. So on the palate, you know, really not much going on, to be honest. It's definitely not bad rosin. You know, it tastes good, it tastes clean, um, but it really just tastes like a little bit of musk, a little bit of sandalwood, um, a little bit of eucalyptus, really not a crazy amount going on. It is a clean resin to smoke, uh, but, you know, it's, it's alien dog. I was hoping for some chem flavors, some of that crazy alienness that, that comes from the lemon that comes out in it. I don't know. Uh, let's try with the wine. Wonderful pairing. So if you've watched back on the videos, you know that when the pairings work well, they tend to increase the body of the wine and kind of change the perceived sweetness. That's exactly what happened here. I think the simplicity of the extract really aided in that. Um, the wine tastes quite one-dimensional, uh, well, you know, quite white, peachy, orange, blossomy, and uh, really delicious. So, you know, I'm thinking about, like, curries, I'm thinking about, uh, oh, you know, like, maybe, maybe a white curry, a white vegetable curry in this one would be nice. I think you could stand up to some heat. Um, I think a nice pork, maybe a honey-glazed pork would be nice to play in those honey blossom flavors, or even, you know, um, uh, a, 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 
peach pork. What am I trying to say? Like a pancetta stuffed with pork would be fantastic. Now that I'm thinking about that, that would be absolutely a killer sandwich. A peach pancetta sandwich with a little bit of moraine, pinot gris, and uh, you know, you're out shopping for cannabis. It's legal now. So again, this was uh, Soleil Renew and um, the rosin was all right. It was a, it was a decent yield, 15%, and um, the taste was not bad. So there you go, there you have it. I look forward to doing more cannabis and wine pairings for you now in the legal market. Um, I hope you make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Cheers. Until next week.